Object Composition Drawing We all aspire to draw what we see in the thumbnail picture. And that's where we'll begin. Let's start our object drawing lesson. The exercises we've explored before will continue to be useful, and new ones will be introduced with each lesson. Our primary focus will be on contour lines and research lines. In its simplest sense, contour lines represent the boundary lines used to define an object while sketching or cutting. Research lines help us achieve precision with these contours. One drawing technique that is commonly used is the single line technique, particularly in animation style drawings. Many who haven't had formal drawing education find this technique handy. However, we will explore various techniques over time. For your current lesson, gather easily drawable objects you can find at home and draw them in sequence. I found a USB stick. A small clock and a small jar, which should work well. At this point, the goal isn't to draw perfectly or poorly, it's to observe and learn to see. Position the object as you desire. Before diving into detailed composition and drawing of the object, the initial drawing will guide us. Try to move the research lines easily. As if your hand is gracefully dancing across the paper without applying too much pressure on the pen. Don't worry if your object drawing appears a bit skewed or if there are many lines during the research phase. It's entirely normal. When it's time to identify the contours that seem correct, use a firm pencil stroke to draw the lines. I'm explaining this with a single pen, but you can certainly do this. If you prefer, you can create research lines with an HB pencil and then use 2B and 4B pencils to finalize the drawing in the next step. I mention this as an easy method, but it's not a strict requirement. I've personally used a 5B fine tip pen for most of my work and was quite satisfied. You can also use a 4B and 6B pen for all the steps. Despite the pen and pencil numbers I've mentioned, don't limit yourself. Try different pens and pencils to find what works best for you.
A drawing that does not fit on the paper is definitely a mistake. We will see how we should solve this. Problem with the outline we will determine in the following lessons. This especially plays an important role in composition drawing. In short, we should specify how much space the picture we will draw will occupy on the paper. We can also indicate this with lines. Or we can decide during the drawing in our head.
In the upcoming lessons, we will explore methods for drawing compositions and combining multiple objects after practicing individual object drawings. In this lesson, we'll focus solely on drawing a single object. You'll encounter more complex compositions in the future. Remember, this is an exercise, so just draw. In a future lesson, we'll further reinforce the concept with only object drawings, and then we'll delve into creating compositions by drawing multiple objects together. Don't give up, keep practicing, and in no time, we will have completed the first stage of our drawing journey.
Let's go.